We did the funny thing happened on the way to the forum, and we also did the South Pacific, in which I had the privilege of playing Emil de Beck, and Ruth played Bloody Mary. <laughs> Ruth has re uh, retired and started, or joined, the Grandparents Living Theater 14 years ago. I can't tell you how old she is, but she retired at full retirement age. <laughs> <laughs> and I will tell you that, that at the first at the first rehearsal that we had together, to hear John, we will get later and to hear Ruth sing, brought tears to my eyes, and I know it will to yours too. Ruth will have Thank you.
in love of a soprano. The love of themselves. And their ability to, to sing high notes. And believe me, no love, nobody loves them more than they do. But now I'd like to continue with just a nice, simple, urban Berlin song.
Oh 
Greg Patterson or Billy Rovay or Dave Weaver for a long time, uh, you know that there's this train wreck that we do at the end of every show. And it's called, there's nothing like a ding. And it, it may not be accurate, but it's an awful lot of fun. Well, there's a few things wrong here. Number one, I never stand on this side. Well, that's right. <laughs> I always stand. Am I standing where you're Here. Because David has to point to me when I'm supposed to see. <laughs> I, I, I do want to add just a couple of personal things. You know, this is our first performance, our first production as the new Columbus Music Theater. And this is our first collaboration with the Senior Repertory of Ohio Theater. I think this is just such a fun, fun thing for us to do. We got together and said, you know, we want to make music. Why don't we start something up, kind of like what we did 25 years ago. Uh, I think what we forgot about is that we are all 25 years older. <laughs> <laughs> and the memory is gone for the world. <laughs> so David said, well, what shall we call this? Greg said, well, why don't we call this Solo, S-O-L-O, -O, Stars of the Light Opera. And David says, no, why don't we call it a goof, A-G-O-O-F, a gaggle of old folks. <laughs> part of this because as I was sitting here tonight listening to John and to Ruth, I realized that all I'm doing is I'm apprenticing to be a part of SRO very soon. <laughs> Isn't it strange how life passes us by and how quickly time flies? And I'm so thrilled that I think I know almost everybody in this room. We were a wonderful group of friends for so many years. And the benefit of having a small audience like this, I could tell everybody came back after and nobody left after. <laughs> <laughs> Whip and craft, Whip and craft. We got some on the sand, we got moonlight on the sea, we got mangoes and bananas, you can pick right off the tree. We got volleyball and big bum and a lot of dandy games. What ain't we got? We ain't got
State University uh, for being our host for this evening. Nancy's in the back. Thank you very much, Nancy. And I want to thank you all for coming this evening. As I said, this is a uh, strong, humble beginning for the group. Uh, if you don't have anything else to do tomorrow evening, <laughs> but if you have plans, uh, please make a telephone call to maybe five of your friends and invite them to come see this show tomorrow night. We promise we'll know more of the words tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> At least we've had a lot of rehearsal. <laughs> I have to say one more story. <laughs> Since the music went quicker than we thought. Several years ago, David, Susie, myself, Mark Baker, we did a program. Eileen Houston was playing for Upper Columbus. Uh, just a little bit of it, and we got together, kind of like we did with this show, and uh, about 15 minutes before, we actually had two rehearsals for this show, and uh, we decided, okay, Susie, you do this, we'll all do this together, then, you know, I will do it, and we put the program together, about an hour-long program, in about 15 minutes before the performance, and with down Bill Miller, he was there, because he had the flex space at the opera offices. Afterwards, a gentleman came to me, and he said to me, that was one of the most perfectly rehearsed programs I've ever seen. <laughs> How long did you guys rehearse for that? I said, myself, at that point, 55 years. <laughs> Susie, at that point, I don't know, years. <laughs> Eileen, 50 years, etc., etc. And that's what this is all about. This is a lifetime. John, how many years have you been rehearsing? I will tell you, 85 years. <laughs> You know, hopefully someday when we get to re have rehearsed as many years as you have, we will also be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and special thanks to Nancy Knott. Special thanks. Thank we gave Nancy a lot of music in a very short period of time, and Nancy has never played for us. So this was a pleasure to work with you. Oh! 